Item Number SCP-4552 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-4552 is to be surrounded by a chain-link fence 2 meters high and watched by at least two armed guards at all times. Test subjects assigned to SCP-4552 have authorization for access, but must notify the Site Director before accessing SCP-4552 and must record all activity related to it. Civilians visiting the area are permitted to take pictures of the site, but trespassing of the chain-link fence is strictly prohibited. No imagery of the Foundation is to be kept on site, as the public may take note of the Foundation's existence. All personnel assigned to SCP-4552 must be wearing an official Irish Army uniform, as opposed to the standard security officer uniform. SCP-4552 is the remains of a sandstone castle, located around 12 km west of Dingle, County Kerry, Ireland. The site is officially recognized as Menard Castle by the Republic of Ireland. The ruins consist of a rectangular tower house, constructed from roughly dressed sandstone blocks secured by a strong adhesive. All four corners of the castle's base were blown off during a siege, led by Oliver Cromwell former Lord Protector of the British Commonwealth. All occupants of the castle were either killed or forced to retreat, leaving the site in a state of disrepair. The lives of those that inhabited the castle remain mostly undiscovered to the Foundation and local historical societies, other than four diary entries, SCP-4552-01 through SCP-4552-04, written by a domestic servant who had previously helped maintain the premises. See Addendum 4552.1 Any personnel who enters the tower house of SCP-4552 will begin to hallucinate a dense fog, cutting them off from the outside world. The voice of a deceased loved one will then call out to them, often attempting to apologize or comfort the subject. If the subject hasn't lost an acquaintance in the course of their lifetime, no hallucination will occur. A vision of the loved one will approach the subject, often placing a hand on their shoulder or embracing them. The individual can interact with and speak to the vision for approximately one minute, after which the vision and fog will fade. Before the hallucination ends, it is always delivered the following verse. Allies have come and gone. Some leave with or without choice. Others remain in the world behind me. We are the same. Too mournful of the past, too terrified of the future. Welcome to my sandstone hell. Note, these hallucinations will not activate if two or more personnel enter SCP-4552 at a time. Additionally, those who do not enter the tower house are unable to see or hear the hallucinations, but can still hear the subject within SCP-4552. Addendum 4552.01 The following diary entries were recovered from within SCP-4552, found in a partially rotted chest within the castle's cellar. They have been translated from a form of Munster Irish to English. Today was exhausting. Something appeared to be on Master's mind. He seemed distressed, jumpy. The mistress was summoned by her parents recently. But she'll be back by tomorrow evening, right? Apparently Master had requested the number of guards be doubled. Or at least, that's what Leonard told me. I'll be damned if anyone here besides Master knew why. Golly. So much seemed off today. I hardly know what to write about. I've also been wanting to get back into poetry for quite some time now. I was planning on writing some this evening, but supper had taken quite a bit more time than I was expecting. A shame. I've had puffins on my mind all day. So carefree. So happy. So filled with life and joy for their brothers and sisters. Quite a good subject for a poem if you ask me. I envy puffins. Ornia. Tomorrow's the day. I've been meaning to tell Leonard now how I felt about him for a while now. He's got to say yes, right? Who else could he possibly be interested in? Oh, how I wish we could run away from this cold prison. Imagine our kids. Imagine our cute little garden, growing the finest herbs in all of Munster. 
What a happy day that would be. Two puffins raising their happy little chicks. The mistress returned home today, but Master still seems so on edge. I don't have time to worry about them. I'm much too happy to bury myself in his attitude. From the burrow you rise, dressed in the black of desire, dressed in the white of innocence, your beak is the mighty sword that will free us both from the sandstone hell. Ornia. Hannah? Hannah of all people? I didn't find her much too interesting when I started my life here, but really? Funny, I suppose. Hannah was supposed to be our kid's name. Why must you take everything from me? Ornia. We have been told that Lord Cromwell's army is on their way, and that everyone on the estate must hold their ground. Hannah is gone. I don't care anymore. Death comes too soon. Or maybe to some, not soon enough. Let us leave this world behind. Come along, Leonard. I've had enough of our sandstone hell. Ornia. Addendum 4552.2 The following test logs involving SCP-4552 were documented on April 29, 2018. In each test, a D-Class personnel who had lost at least one acquaintance during their lifetime was told to enter SCP-4552 and report any encounters with hallucinations. After the test, all six subjects were offered Class A traumatic amnestic therapy. All subjects declined. Test 1 Subject D-20457 Relation Wife Hallucination Don't let me drag you down like this. It's alright, I understand. Just be happy for both of us, okay? Test 2 Subject D-20458 Relation Daughter Hallucination Why are you crying, Daddy? Where's Mommy? I don't understand. Test 3 Subject D-20467 Relation Father Hallucination How's Cassie? Don't tell me she choked on a goldfish again. Good to see you, champ. Come. I believe we have some time together now. Test 4 Subject D-20558 Relation Sister Hallucination Long time no see. Don't worry, you'll be with me and Mom soon enough. Uh, that wasn't meant to be a threat or anything. <laughs> Test 5 Subject D-20502 Relation Father Hallucination It's been a while, hasn't it? Move along now. The living aren't done with you yet. Note, the verse repeated at the end of the hallucination was spoken in Mandarin, as opposed to English. Mandarin is the subject's first language. Test 6 Subject Redacted Relation Redacted Hallucination It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Get away from me!